Hi everyone, I hope you're all keeping well. It's Kieran here and it's almost October so we thought we were a little bit overdue in bringing you a new vlog as part of our Experience in a Skilling series. The plan for today is to introduce you to a barber shop which is celebrating its 40th year in business in Enniskillen in 2021. But that's not all it does. It also happens to have one of the largest displays of railway memorabilia on the island of Ireland. Set up in 1981 as a barber shop, it changed its decor in 2002 to the railway theme. And I'm delighted to be bringing you up to meet Alan Devers, who is representing Selwyn Johnson of Headhunters Barber Shop and Railway Museum. Alan, how's it going? Good to see you today. Or as the old people would have said, you're in town today. Headhunters is the world's only barbershop and railway museum combined. It's a collection dedicated to the railways of Fermanagh, which all closed in 1957 on the 30th of September. And we hope now to show you some of the more interesting artefacts that we have here. It's a bicycle on railway wheels, as you can see, which makes it very heavy. It's two man or two seater uh, job, this one, and two men would have inspected the track. Uh, sitting on the bicycle. The artist David Briggs has been commissioned to do quite a few paintings for headhunters over the years. In this painting he has envisaged what Inniskillen Railway Station would look if it still was open in 2021. This is just the first room inside the entire shop here. It's absolutely fascinating. I'm walking around. I've spotted a violin that I'm going to show you now because you can never take a musician outside of his practice. I suppose it's a bit strange being from the town, being brought up here in Enniskillen and knowing so very little about our relative recent history. And having lived in England, we have the train system, which was fantastic and everyone takes for granted there. And then you come and you see that Enniskillen was once a major, major player in this game. So I'm going to take you around the rest and Alan's going to pop in with a few more pointers and direct us and keep us going. And then we're going to meet Gordon and Nigel who are next door cutting some hair. My name is Nigel Johnson and my brother here is Gordon Johnson here. In December 1981 we opened up our barbershop Headhunters. We're now coming into our 40th year here. We opened up the, uh, the Railway Museum back in 1997 after uh, an exhibition in the library. We brought up some of the artefacts here. More and more artefacts arrived and uh, we have it tonight on the present day what we have here today. After the First World War, the railways began to suffer from competition from the roads. One of the ways they tried to get back traffic was tourism. And this was an attempt by the Great Northern Railway to encourage tourism to Fermanagh, and particularly to the Bundoran Line. As you can see here, it describes Loch Erne as the Killarney of Northern Ireland. <laughs> I'm standing in what can only be described as model railway heaven. Uh, Nigel is in behind operating the entire display that we've got. This is mind blowing. You would not believe that this is here uh, in a barber's, let alone a railway museum. So Nigel's got them running behind me and I'm going to do some playing. By 1957, uh, the writing was on the wall for the railways of Fermanagh. And all the railways uh, from Oma, as far as Clonus, the Bundoran Line, uh, the Stigo Leitrim Line, all those lines were closed on the 30th of September 
1957. And Fermanagh was left without a single railway anywhere. And we still suffer from that lack of connectivity. <laughs> This is the regional news. The time is 8 p.m. on Monday the 30th of September 1957. Rail travel ended tonight on 93 miles of track of the Great Northern Railway System in Northern Ireland, on the Clonus to Oma and Bundoran lines, and on the Sligo, Leitrim and Northern Counties Railway, leaving all the country between Oma, Clonus, Sligo and Bundoran without any trains. At Enniskillen Railway Station, there was little enough interest, with a crowd of 150 gathering to see the last two trains, the 6.40pm for Oma and the 7.25pm for Sligo. The iron bus service, which was operated on both sides of the border for 29... So that brings to an end my vlog in Headhunters Barbershop and Railway Museum. It's unbelievable to walk around, especially walking around with Alan, meeting Nigel and Gordon and just getting the history of this place. As I say, I'm very, very proud to be from Enniskillen and witness our history, our recent history. There's so much content in here, there's so much to do, so much to see, so you're going to have to do it for yourselves. Don't just take my word for it. Pop in and before I go, I suppose there is actually only one more thing to do myself and Nigel is here, so I am going to finish with a haircut. Thank you very much. So I'm going to get a cut from Nigel here in Headhunters in Enniskillen. And as I say, don't take my word for it. Come in and see it for yourselves. Nigel, Gordon, Alan, thank you very, very much. And we'll see you soon.